I have this really bad feeling I'm gonna get lost. Exit by the university at Dundas West. Kahai bhai. Alright, I see B light. Yes. There you go, people. Thank you so much, sir. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, let's look for the CN Tower. Right, so let's search for the CN Tower. Change of plan. Uh, I did not need to get out at St. Patrick. I just googled CN Tower and it says it's a 22 minute walk. So I can go back to the same subway station and take the train again. Then I'll be closer to where I need to go. So let's go back to the. Okay, there you go. Hey, Goma. Right. This has been a day of roundabout. You know? Yeah, this has been a day. You start at a, start at a point, you go further, come back to the same point, go somewhere else. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll catch the door. Whoa. Alright. Let me help you with that. Here you go. So, yeah. We're back. Walking to the station again. Let me check if I have my breast. Still have my breast. Oh God, I do. Yeah, I have a very bad habit of uh, of losing stuff. No, I'm really conscious of the fact I, I have done that in the past. So I keep checking it again and again. It's like with OCD, I have you know to keep checking uh, if I have lost something. Check my card. Want to open? So we are here. We need to go here. Oops. So we are here. Or we need to. We need to go here. In reality, I shouldn't have gone down to St. Patrick's. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I should have carried on. Because I started from Islington. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have got down to at St. Patrick's. Oh, but you live and learn. You live and learn, and that's my dream. So now, I'm back on the same train as I was when I got off. Please stand clear of the doors. Yeah. That's where I need to get off now. Right, so I'm at Union Station right now. So I think this is it. This is it. And I don't think I need to take any more trains now. I just need to see where I need to exit from now. Uh, Union Station. Exit here. Right. And walk up the stairs. Right there. Okay. And I should be able to get to where I'm at. And I show not where I'm at, but I should be able to get to where I need to go. So, ooh, right. I'm so thankful the weather here is so nice, and you know what? It feels so nice to finally reach where you planned your day. And uh, I wanted to come here. I wanted to come to the CN Tower. Right then. Wow. A couple of things about the CN Tower. Uh, it is a well, I'm sure you guys know, but it is the tallest tower in Canada. At some point, at one point, it was actually the tallest tower in the world. Before, before technology helped other countries to build a uh, bigger tower. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't. We really don't understand the race to have the tallest towers everywhere. But uh, it's called the CN Tower because it was built by the Canadian National Rail Railways. So see. The, the railway company built the tallest tower in the world at, at, at some point. It was built back in 1972. It's like I'm giving you an accurate. <laughs> right. It's like uh, I'm actually giving a history lesson. It stands, stands at uh, 500 and odd meters, I think. Just close 600 meters. 
so yeah i'm just walking towards the tower and uh, i may stop over and get something to eat i'm starving <laughs> yeah i should have got water i really should have got water typical downtown uh, crowded and people just walking i see a lot of uh, hot dog vans the one you see right behind me yeah right there I remember there being a pizza place here the last time I had come here. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure which side I entered from. So another, another hot dog station. A couple of years back, when I was here, I ate at that restaurant right there. I had a cheese pizza at Boston Pizzas, and I think I'm gonna do the same. We'll go there. <laughs> the same cheese pizza I had two years back. This is where the people are going to the the CN Tower. This way you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go have some food and let's explore downtown. I know there is a Toronto Museum close by as well. So I'm first gonna do the CN Tower. Hopefully at a later time, if, if I do have time, go to the museum. I just got done for lunch. Uh, I had a vegetarian pizza. Cost me about. $24 and uh, well 26 I think with the tip right in DC and tower you can see why it goes right over there okay right there well I am not into baseball so it doesn't quite interest me although people uh, people do like baseball here that's the entrance, I guess. Uh, where we need to go and buy the tickets. Oh, actually not. This is just going to be the entrance. Right here. Yeah. Ooh, and there is a line. The heat standing in line. So, and this. That's the Ripley's Aquarium Canada. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's nice. So there are a couple of things to do here. It's either you go to the aquarium right there, or you stand in the queue and head up to the CN Tower. Right after a small security check, we are in the line to buy tickets. So, um, I'm not sure how much they are. Uh, to go up, but we should find out. It wasn't that bad though, to be honest. I figured it wouldn't take longer, but it did not. Okay, I've got my chicken reobservation deck. It costed me $42, and it's gonna take me right up here. And if I need to go any higher, and it's an extra 15 but I, I didn't take it. I'm at the observation deck right now, and... Wow, oh, look at that. So we are we're around about 346 meters high and that is equivalent to 114 floors apparently. The guy in the elevator who got us up who gave us this gave us these numbers. So 346 meters high. Oh wow. is it actually really good? the cafeteria I've just eaten so I am I'm not gonna eat anything. Another floor which we can go. As they said I have a ticket I have an access pass to go level down to the balcony. They said we can go level down to the glass doors. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the place. So let's see. So this is a level down. Oh, 
as you can see a lot of people are having a really good time and I guess this is it that's the deck this is the glass floor deck and I think it's, it's about time for me to go down and exit out of the CN Tower uh, is it worth $42? Mm. I guess so. I mean, if you are tourist and if you've come so far, and uh, that's why not? Yeah? Oh, I should say yes. If you're coming to Canada or Toronto, I would say yeah, spend the money and uh, experience, especially the, the second floor where for the glass uh, uh, balcony. That was really good. So I'm finally done with both the floors of the CN Tower and right now they've landed me to a gift store. Right, so we are done. I am now, well I'm in two minds now. Do I head back home or do I actually do go and do something else? Um, it is 5 p.m. and if I, would, if I would have to do something else then it would probably take me a lot of time. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go back home. It says 5, it says it's uh, it should be about 15 minutes or a 14 minute walk or 14 or 15 minute walk so right so I think I do recognize this street now because this is the same way I came when I was going to CN Tower and the station should be right ahead on my right oh there you go um, that's the railway office and I believe that will be our train station. That's the Union Station and let's go. Oh, you gotta pull. Right. Okay. Now I just need to find out the right train to take me home. I, I don't think I need to recharge my Presto card. I still have about $13 in there, if you remember. That should be sufficient for me to change trains, buses and go home. So, I started off with 20. I've got 13 left. Ooh, this is not where I came from. Yeah, this is a different entry into the station, which is... Alright, look. Right. Now I actually need to find out where am I supposed to go? I can answer reception. Okay, that's the go station. And I need to take this left and go down and catch a train. So Union Station was pretty chaotic because there was some kind of a police investigation going on uh, at Union Station, so all the trains were delayed, most of them. So my train was delayed as well, but uh, luckily I did manage to catch it. So from the Union Station, I took the low Lakeshore West train and uh, the GO train, right there. So I took the GO train and um, I've dropped off at Port Credit uh, Station. So I need to go to platform number 5 and take the 103 not bound. Uh, so let's see. I need to hunt for platform number 5. So I'm just following people. And 
I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere straight. Um, yeah, so we are at Fort Credit. Yeah. Couple of things about the Go train, it really travels slow, and you can see it going in the background. Um, I missed the bus. But that was the bus. It wasn't the train, it was actually the bus, is it? But hold on. Oh, that's platform number five. Just missed the bus. Okay, there's another bus in 11 minutes from now. So, ah. Uh, so there are three platforms over there. Where I came from? Right there. Uh, so, so the train dropped me off. I entered that subway station or train station. I could only see three platform number one, platform number two, and three. I couldn't find five. And how I noticed that was my bus is 103 not bound, and I could see at the back of the bus was it was 103 N. Hello, ma'am. How are you? That is the presto machine where you. Tap your car, your presto car. The, the, the bus was good, the bus transit was great. Uh, Alright, so all in all, I feel the bus system here is a little bit faster than the trains. So, especially the GO train. Not the subway, the subway is really quick. But the GO trains are, I found them to be really slow. Um, really because they are slow. It's fair to say, probably this is one of my most adventurous vlogs I've done yet. Um, it is 6.45 in the evening and uh, well the sun hasn't set. Uh, the sunset here is at 8 p.m. So that's why you see a lot of sunlight uh, right now. <laughs> and remember at the start of the vlog, I said this is going to be a no Uber day. This was a no Uber day. It's time to end the vlog. Hope you like what you saw. Like my adventure. Until next time.